How's it going everyone? So iOS 18.5 was released this morning for the developer beta. Not to be confused with the recently released 18.1 that we got last week was introduced the all new Apple intelligence and such. So this one's on 18.1 and this one's on 18.5 on the developer beta update. And one of the new straightforward changes can be located in Safari. You see, if you go into like articles, websites like 925 Mac as an example, you see how we have like annoying ads right here. Well, now Apple added this new Safari tool, which you can access by tapping here and where it says hide distracting items, enable this, select a distracting item, tap hide, and just like Thanos snap, it just goes away like this. And you can use this to like hide other categories too. So if you don't want like certain images being in the way while you're reading stuff in the summary, just tap hide and it just disappears like so. It's really interesting stuff and when you tap done, you could peruse without any distractions whatsoever. So it, this is kind of like a, an ad blocker, which is really awesome, but it doesn't do it automatically. As you saw earlier, we have to manually just go in. Let me see if I can find an ad real quick. Uh, here's one right here. So again, you gotta bring up their Safari tool, but you also have to position it so you could actually click on it. Hide distractions, select it, hide, boom then I'll snap and it goes away just like that. And you can also go ahead and undo it too if you like. So if you messed up on AdSense, you can just undo the hide and then you can just allow it to show again. Another new change for this new update was the fact that we have a refresh icon design again. Wait for this animation to go away real quick because it's when I turned off AirDrop. Get these things out of here. Yep, oh, there it goes again. Okay, I gotta separate them. Mm. There we go. All right. So look at the new Find My app icon. Apple did recently tweaked it a little bit. It looks more darker than ever. But the most interesting one, in my opinion, is the new app map icon for Apple Maps. As this is how it used to look like in this dark mode. And now it looks like this. It doesn't have any of the green. Comment down below which one do you personally prefer because I kind of like this one a little bit better. It's more straightforward on what it is. This one's kind of confusing. It's like one of those apps, unless you know, you know that this is the new map app. The other additional change can be located whenever you enter your device in wiggle mode and you tap edit. There's now a new edit pages ability, which will take you to this overview layout of all your existing home pages that you've created on your home page. Where previously you had a long hold and you just tap these little dots to get to access to this page. I guess Apple made it a little bit easier for those who are unsure how to get access to this and actually hide your apps or web pages if you just want to secretly, stealthily, you know, just unmark them and tap done. And now you don't see that on this page. It's until you go back in wiggle mode, tap edit to re-enable it. Then the next new change can be located in the photo app because now you don't have the little dots on the bottom. Oops, let me get out of here real quick. Right here, because this is how it used to look like and it's kind of annoying in my opinion because there was times when I'm trying to get to my videos. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But you could do this. That has been removed, it looked like. So Apple is clearly still tweaking the photo app, trying to make it user friendly as much as possible. But we did still maintain the select tool, which is what I personally prefer because I could just delete stuff like that instead of having to do the triggery by just tapping and selecting a bunch of photos and such. Then the other subtle change can be located in Control Center. Icons were also slightly re-updated again because previously the record icon was a whole solid white on both middle and the outer ring and now the inner is the solid and the outer ring is the light but everything else is identical in terms of like the previous icons just a subtle update on some of the icons basically nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary that introduced new features honestly the massive feature is probably the safari and of course it's obvious that apple still fine tweaking the photo app which is great but in terms of bugs i haven't really ran into anything yet carplay I haven't really experienced anything out of the ordinary as well. Everything remained the same in CarPlay. So you can reference my previous video, which I'll have link in the description if you haven't watched it yet, but everything is basically identical. And next week, I'm sure we will get the those Safari features integrated on iOS 18.1.2. So like the Safari feature I was showing you earlier on this new developer beta update should be available for those that are on the Apple intelligence update. But 18.5 does not have Apple intelligence as we still have the default Siri. 
But other than that, there you guys have it. That's basically everything new for this latest update of the developer beta 0.5. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss these upcoming ones. But if this is your first video, the compatible devices basically are this. Any device that will be compatible on iOS 18. So long as you have an iPhone 10s or newer or the 10R or newer, your device is compatible. And for Apple intelligence, it's only the M1 equipped iPads as well as Mac computers and the iPhone 15 Pros the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max are the ones that will receive the Apple Intelligence ability. Not like the 13 Mini that I have here, but it is compatible with iOS 18. And then of course, uh, the upcoming iPhone 16s are gonna be compatible with app the advanced Apple Intelligence that you saw earlier. But yeah, there you guys have it. Not to waste your time. That's everything new for iOS 18.5 on the latest developer beta. Thank you guys so much for watching.